Before we jump into all of the new improvements with the transcription tool, I do want to show those who haven't used a transcription tool previously how it works and where it was in the previous version 18.6. So if I come over here, click the transcription tool, uh, and we would then be able to go through, select the bits that we would want to add onto our timeline, select insert to end, and we could easily go like this and insert all of the different clips as well as the ability to turn them into sub clips so then we would have that in the media pool to use at a later time. So that's how it previously worked. There was no other really aspects to that. You could export the text here uh, into a file and then use that later. Now jumping over to DaVinci Resolve 19, let's go over the improvements that were added in. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn on speaker detection that will allow us when we're analyzing the clip to be able to determine who is speaking and then we can add names to those different people. So to do that, we're going to right click up here and then click speaker detection just so that has a little check and then clicking on whichever clips that we want analyzed and then clicking this button up here and then the system will analyze. From here, we now wanna turn on our labels for the speakers. So to do that, we're gonna click the three little dots here and then display speakers. There we'll be able to see who is talking and when, and you can just double click in here and write whoever's name it is. So Thank you. The last okay, so that's Michael, so let's come into here. Looking at the UI, you might have noticed a couple of different things. One, down here we have a place on top button. We also have this button over here, which is a timeline button. We'll get to that in a second. And then over here, we also have a remove silence portion uh, button, and that will remove any of the silent portions. Uh, that button will be very interesting here in a second. Outside of that, uh, clicking the three little dots, we also have a new export settings here, and this allows us to actually export in the different subtitle files, as you can see there. So that is a new addition as well. So let's go through, and this is pretty much how the previous tool worked, where you could highlight and then add it onto the timeline, just like that. So we can add all of Michael's portions here. Um, but outside of that, I wanna show you one other thing. If I just remove my selection here, and then let's come up and add this whole clip to a timeline. Once that's added in there, I'm gonna come back up here to the transcription button and then clicking this little button here or having it selected and then it goes over to the timeline. We can see we're on timeline two and now we can see the transcription for the elements that are on the timeline. From here, there's a really cool thing. Remember I was talking about being able to delete empty spaces. Now within the timeline edit, we can click this button and it automatically will remove all of the dead spaces in our project. I thought that that was a pretty cool addition uh, that was added in. So outside of that, the tool is pretty much the same way as it previously was. One cool thing that you can do is if for some reason you want it to remove a section, we can come into here and we can just hit delete and it will remove that little bit. It isn't a ripple delete. Uh, it is just a normal delete. So we'll delete the file next to it or the uh, clip next to it and that will delete as well. And now we have a silent area here so we could click this button and it'll join those two together, removing those empty spaces. So now we have the ability to go through our transcript and remove any bits that we do not want in the transcript. Maybe this one little line here we do not want. We can remove that little bit. Now we have our space there. Clicking this button will remove that space as easy as that. So those are the new updates to the transcription tool, especially if you're wanting to get into text-based editing. Here you go. Uh, outside of that, if you are interested in talking or learning more about the new updates within DaVinci Resolve, I highly suggest taking a look at the community site post pro list where I'm over there discussing with others about all of the new updates. If you're curious and wanna see how to use a couple of the new tools, I have a whole playlist going over all of the new tools and how to use them. So with that being said, my name's Justin Robinson. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys, see you.